Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. You may be asking me, why are you back at the Grudel's training grounds? Well, because I forgot to go down this room where I pushed the silver block to this door. So, whoa, this is quite interesting to say the least. <laughs> but at the same time, these are like super weak enemies in these holes, like these spike ball guys. Uh, what are their names again? Uh, they're, they're just called spikes. <laughs> Well, that's uh, a rather obvious name if you ask me, but it's a little too obvious, actually. Uh, so what do you get in this room anyway? It's probably very optional, because I already defeated the Grudel's training grounds. So I get a uh, purple rupee. That just sort of waves that 10 rupee entrance fee that I had to pay to get back in here. Oh, and also as a, another confirmation, you I mean, this dungeon does not... A reset back to what it was um, when you leave the place like I originally thought all rooms that you've cleared or whatnot stay cleared anyway back to Ganon's castle all right here we are this is the next place we're going going up to the top of the tower listen Someone is playing an organ. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Dinlafols. Dinlafols. Why must you be here? I, I fought so many of you. Well, you and your Lizafols cousins. <laughs> eh, nope, nope. I'm just being super impatient with you guys because I really don't care too much about you. <laughs> you have to... Nope. Oh, Die. No, not bad timing on the die portion. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> and all that damage that I took was waived because of the hearts that I got from that last drop. And I believe that's it. The dungeon key, or I should say the boss key, is coming up a little bit later. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it is. Yeah, I think it's in this room. Yep, there it is. So, no, you did not miss the boss key of this dungeon. Hello, Staffos. You are also quite uh, unwanted, but uh, I've fought so many of you. Why? Why must there be more? And that one just died in the wall. <laughs> well, I guess that was an entertaining way to get rid of one. No, nope. yep, you're going down, that's for sure. <laughs> And the fire should move. Yeah, it disappeared from the chest. Man, I wonder what we're gonna get in this blue and gold chest. <laughs> yep, it's the boss key. And now we go. <laughs> wow, yeah, these last few rooms of Ganon's Tower here. I was gonna say castle there. Ganon's Tower are quite easy, I have to say. Uh, this is. Oh. Well, maybe I guess they're not that easy. Only activate one of these iron knuckles at a time. Eee. <laughs> Come on. Get away from the other one so I don't accidentally hit it as I do my infinite loop combo. <laughs> this works so well. And as you know, I'm not using the big Oron sword, which would speed this up a little bit. And I gotta say, is that a gold... That's a gold axe that he's got there, isn't it? I don't really think it's such a good idea to uh, decorate your weapons with such expensive metals. I mean, if you think about it, that, that would get all scratched up and the collector's value would get ruined. Oh, that's just a big issue. <laughs> So, I, maybe these guys don't really care about their weapons all that much. I mean, he is slamming it into... Uh, well, I was way, way, way late on my timing there. May, I mean, he is slamming it into uh, cement there. That would definitely ruin the collector's value by dulling the blade. Yeah. So, I, I guess he's not much of a collector. And there we go. Whoa! I don't need your whore money. <laughs> And you'll notice that the organ music is getting louder as you go up. And, boss door! Notice that there's pots around this room? Don't hit them. You'll see why later, I'll show you. I should say, don't break them. Well, hitting and breaking them would pretty much be the same thing with pots. It's 
Suspenseful staircase. And now... We have arrived at the final boss. <laughs> and she's got to be getting cramped in there by now. I mean, she's been sitting in there for, what, a couple of hours by now? <laughs> I mean, a couple hours is probably like two months in this game's time. You see how quickly this game changes from day to night. By the way, if you didn't notice, Triforce pieces react when they're close by to each other. You're also uh, recovered of all your health before this fight, as indicated by the little hearts there. But as you see, I wasn't damaged. You couldn't really tell. <laughs> the Triforce parts are resonating. They are combining into one again. Whenever all the Triforce pieces are together, they have a chance at combining back into one whole piece. The two, the two Triforce parts that I could not capture on that day seven years ago, I didn't expect they would be hidden within you two. Sinister laugh. And now, finally, all the Triforce parts have gathered here. These toys are too much for you. I command you to return them to me. Link, I can't help you because of the waves of darkness. I can't get close. What? Navi? Why do you think you've been helping me? Where do you get this impression from? Anyway, this is the final battle. Ganondorf, here we go, get to a corner of the room. He's gonna immediately make a big hole around that central post. And this is why I said not to um, blow apart those pots there. Because, yeah, this room is right underneath the final boss room. And I believe if you hit those pots ahead of time, you'll get their goodies and then you wouldn't be able to collect them in the fight if you need them. There's hearts, magic, arrows, bombs, etc, etc. Which reminds me, I should get all of my equipment out for this fight. I will put... Uh, oh yeah, I used a fairy. That doesn't really matter all that much to me. I will put the light arrows there, and that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing. And he's got that light ball there. Doesn't that remind you of something? If you mean... If I mean Phantom Gan... Ow! Phantom Ganon? Yes it is. You have to deflect his blast back at him with his sword, with your sword. You can also use a bottle to deflect his magic blast back at him. Yes, that's right. You have the item re required to defeat the king of all evil right in your refrigerator. <laughs> and then once he gets stunned by his own blast, whip out your light arrow. Shoot, I was way too late because of freaking sensitive controls. But that's okay. All you have to do is hit him with a light arrow once you get the opportunity. That's pretty obvious. Uh -huh. And just see if I can get another good rally going on. Oh yeah, there we go. You're going down this time. And now once you get stunned, jump over to the center and wail on him like you've never wailed on someone before. And you probably haven't wailed on someone before. <laughs> Uh, an interesting thing to take note is that Ganon's cape, well, Ganondorf's cape, excuse me, here is... It gets more and more tattered as he takes more and more damage throughout the fight. It's a little attention to detail I gotta give to Nintendo there that I like quite, a, quite much. Come on, come on, any day now. <sighs> why? Uh, there we go. I was gonna say, why are you being so difficult? Get over! <laughs> No. Oh, shoot, I did not get a good start on wailing on him. Ah, oh, okay. And you can tell when he's about to recover because he starts to shake and get up. So and that, that's your cue to get back into another corner. He also has an attack where he can sort of ground pound and make more of those square floor tiles fall off, which makes the fight a little bit harder. But he only seems to do that when you are at the center of the platform as he's recovering. He's also got a black hole type attack, uh, but that's also very easy to stop just by shooting him with a light arrow as he's charging up. Hopefully I'll be able to show you what that's like in this battle, but otherwise you'll be able to recognize it. Because he'll be like charging up energy above his head for an abnormally long amount of time. 
And yeah, and then all you have to have to do is shoot a light arrow at him. There we go. Looks like he was gonna actually push it back there, but his timing was off. Come on, nope, nope. Hit him, hit him, go! Uh, maybe I should be using jump slash attacks or something like that to do more damage. I'm I'm too afraid to get like knocked off the edge. I'll see see his cape, how many holes there are in it now. Oh! Black hole attack! Black hole attack! Well it's doesn't really look like a black hole, I suppose, but it's been dubbed like that as such by some. So I always call it that as well once I heard the term for it. Okay, I don't remember where I heard it from though. Come to think, but anyway. <laughs> And the fight continues! The world's greatest te- What was I gonna say Tetris? Tenet Smash! I don't know, maybe my commentary is slightly off, which is a bad thing for the final battle. But I have a feeling this is going to go well regardless. And is it me or is he recovering very quickly? Ah well, everything's gonna go well. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, there we go. What, do you think I was going to say Johnson or something like that? Oh, come on, I'm not that predictable. <laughs> the great King Ganondorf, beaten by this kid. By the way, in uh, 1.0 and 1.1 version of the game, that green blood is actually red blood. They change it in fu those future versions. Link! I guess they wanted to make it more kid-friendly. <laughs> But if you ask me, uh, green blood is still, well, blood. <laughs> and his, watch his cape, by the way, watch his cape. His cape falls right through his body. <laughs> I always found that pretty silly. And his power, as you've seen, dissolved the whole frickin' top of the tower. But he's dead, and that's good. Looks like Zelda's been freed. Oh, move those muscles! You me, it must be very, very cramped. Ganondorf, pitiful man. Without a strong, righteous mind, he could not control the power of the gods, and... Well, this is never good. When something shakes in a game, it's not good. Link, listen to me. This tower will collapse soon. With his last breath, Ganondorf is trying to crush us in the ruins of the tower. We need to hurry and escape. Please, follow me. Will do, Zelda. And for some reason, the frame rate is really, really bad in this. I don't know why it is, but it is. It, I mean, just look at this. <laughs> But anyway, this reminds me sort of like a Metroid escape scene ever since I played my first Metroid game and got one of those. And you have to wait for her to open these barred doors for some reason. And already Zelda is being more useful than Navi. <laughs> I mean, we couldn't open those doors before, but she can. Anyway, uh, it takes her a while to get to the doors, but you can use shortcuts and stuff like that. And Huh? Where did she? What? What? What is taking you? <laughs> it's kind of unfair in that way that you have to wait for her. Even if you make it to the door in time, especially with the very strict three minute time limit. Although the sequence here, right, isn't all that hard. It's just the thing of, well, she's, she's kind of burning more time than she has to. <laughs> I mean, you're telling me with all her power she couldn't run a little faster? And in this room, she's gonna sort of go around. But there's another room that... Uh, soon after this that she goes like in between the rocks for whatever reason I just don't understand why I'm gonna have to show you that <laughs> and just be careful not to fall off the tower either that'll reset your position as well like if you were to fall down a bottomless pit and you'd also be hit by rocks in cutscenes or I should say as you're coming out of cutscenes which is kind of unfair and in this room walk towards her Oh, but no! Oh, no, this isn't looking good! Okay, we got a double Staffles battle here. Um, these Staffles, though, are pretty special in that when you kill one, they actually can revive themselves. So hit one three times, and now go for the other one. Yes, you. 
and kill this one off. And then what you'll be able to do is sort of save yourself time, or I should say save yourself the worry of having to try and get a Staffles down to death from full health while the other one is recovering. So this should help you greatly in your little speed run antics here. Come on. There we go. Now quickly go to the other one. You'll notice that the remains on the floor, the other staffles are still there. That's indicating that it is a revival one. There we go! That was delightful. You're welcome. And I guess I will take a few of those. What the heck? Go, 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 go! Open! Open, says me! Yes! Roll! <laughs> and we got some more downward. Oh, I almost landed on your head. <laughs> She even had a little ah! moment there herself. I think she actually screams when you're close to like falling off the edge or something like that. Now watch, watch her, watch her pathway through this room. Why, why does she zigzag through these rocks like that? Why doesn't she just go around them? <laughs> I, I've never got that. It takes longer to get to that door than it needs to be. Anyway, going down here. Look out for rocks. Whenever you get hit by something and she screams that, that like that. What happens is that she actually stops for some reason, stalling for even more time! Ah, I hate that! <laughs> and now look out in this path, we got a re-dead, just roll past... I was gonna say roll past it so it doesn't stun you. Uh, because sometimes you can cheat that if you roll past it, but alas, I couldn't that time. You do it for yourself though, don't get too close to it. And the final pathway, or actually the final staircase is right here! The exit is behind this gate! Come on, Zelda! Mo Why didn't- She was right there! Why didn't she just- Ugh. Whatever! Ah, we made it! We're alive! The game is over! Woo! This is pretty awesome, I have to say. Watching the collapse of his tower. It just like like sinks into the ground or something like that. It's so so awesome. Some slight frame rate issues I see though. <laughs> I don't know what's up with the sequence with frame rate issues. I don't believe it was like that on the N64 version. I could be wrong though. It's been a while since I played that one. I I've played it on the GameCube since I got it. And. The sound effects were out of sync there. <laughs> Those do 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 sounds that the castle made as it was going into the ground were supposed to be synced to those rings of smoke. Anyway, it's over. It's finally over. To the bedroom we go! Navi! You never helped in any battles! Uh oh. What do you have to say about this? What is that? Oh. Oh boy. Um. Um. Well, this isn't a good sign. His Triforce of Power. And it transforms him into Ganon. Oh boy, there goes my sword. There's no way he's going to hold me back. Navi! Where have you helped me in combat? Anyway! I gotta make note of something here. Zelda, why don't you just throw me the sword back? Anyway, all you have to do is roll under his legs and then hit his tail with something. Like the Megaton Hammer, for instance, since you don't have your sword. You could also use your Bigoron sword, 
Of course, but... I think I'm just gonna use the Megaton Hammer. As I said, I'm trying to avoid using it. And that's pretty much the fight in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, you pretty you just roll right under his legs like some sort of cartoonish antic. So you pretty much... Not only is this bo final boss fight easy, but you humiliate him! <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's pretty pathetic, I have to say. And you can just walk... I mean, like, he tries to hit you with his dagger swords, or whatever the heck those things are, but you're too fast for him when you roll underneath his feet if you just keep pushing forward. And <laughs> it's pathetic, I have to say. And, oh, 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 I missed there. Oh, oh, but I still got plenty of time, because for some reason he doesn't seem to realize that I'm behind him, even though I've been behind him, like, five or six times by now. <laughs> There we go. Link, the Master Sword is here! Hurry up! Why didn't you throw it towards me? Why? Maybe she didn't want Ganon to like get a hold of it or something like that. Well, we got our sword back, so let's use it. Instead of the Megaton Hammer, I'll be using the Master Sword. Although you do... I believe you can use the Megaton Hammer to hit him at this point. Let's just, let's just try it for the fun of it. No, 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 no! That was my fault there, because I wasn't far enough underneath his legs. And I was supposed to do that, and then... Yeah, that does work. At least until the final blow. But, as I said, I'll be using the Master Sword. I think it's quite fitting since it is the, you know, bane of all evil. <laughs> and there we go. He gets a little bit faster in Phase 2 here, but... He's still... no. Not a hard final boss in the least. Pretty dang epic, though, I have to say. I mean, just look at this. There's lightning in the background. Fire all around you. It's night. Lightning flashes light up the area. His eyes even are lit up in the dark. Very, very, very nice setting they have right here. Even if I'm pretty much humiliating the final boss. <laughs> I mean, it's just ridiculous the ways that you can beat him. I mean, even his, I mean his, ow, his first phase with the um, where you hit his energy balls back at him as when he's Ganondorf that you can use a bottle to, you know, deflect his magic attacks back at him. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. And Zelda, why didn't you use this power on him earlier? Was he too strong for you or something? Well, better late than never, I suppose. <sighs> Approach him? Violence! Six Sages now! Ancient creators of Hyrule. Now, open the sealed door and send the evil incarnation of darkness into the void of the evil realm. Notice that Syria's entrance there is just a little bit more dramatic than the rest of them because of her connection to Link. They activated the White Hole Magic Card. Well, they call them spell cards now. <laughs> Been a while since I played Yu-Gi-Oh. I always call them Magic Cards, and I never got out of that habit, dang it. And yeah, this is Ganondorf talking. Oh yeah, remember my name. Remember it. Ain't gonna happen. There's already been a bazillion sequels.
You do realize that Link has a Triforce piece too as well, don't you? Apparently not. <laughs> And now we're floating in air, although for some reason I seem to have a shadow. <laughs> Thank you, Link. You're welcome. To the bedroom, I say. To the bedroom! I did so much! So much! I deserve it! For a time. <laughs> it's as if they knew there was going to be a bazillion sequels. I forgive you, if we go to the bedroom now. Thank you. Please? Oh, come on, please. I, I can do that later. We, we can do that. We can do it right here, actually. There's no one around us, and we seem to be just floating. I think that would be pretty comfy. Why do you need that? Um, maybe later? No, Link! No! Don't give it to her! Hey, wait, is that... Does it have whole... I mean, does it have 12 holes on both sides? That's weird. <laughs> it's like they textured both sides of the ocarina the same. I never noticed that before. Later! Bedroom, now! No, wait, weren't you listening to a word I was saying? Dang it! The hero never gets the girl. Ever. You're welcome, but you could have done more to thank me. <laughs> and here's the credits. As I always say, I didn't make the game, I just made the walkthrough on the game, my commentary, my recording, and whatnot. Oh man, this was an extremely fun walkthrough. When I started it, I didn't think I would have this much fun with it. I mean, I knew I was going to have fun with it, but I had a load of fun with it, and I put a lot more production value into the videos than I probably needed to. <laughs> like what, what with the live-action randomness sequences and whatnot. I may make a 70th part after this. Because there's a couple really optional, not needed to get every item in the game sort of things that I could show off. But some of the stuff that I could show off, I'm not even sure is true. So what I'd like to do is like confirm all of it before I make a video on it. And yeah, you get the idea. Oh, and also, supposedly if you beat the game without dying, which I did, and I'll show you the save file later to, to prove it, um, there will apparently be a song after the credits, on the THE END screen, excuse me. I don't know if that's true, and I've never heard it before because I never beat the game without dying before, but I apparently can do it now. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm a more experienced gamer now than I used to be when I played this game. Because it didn't feel hard at all for me to beat this game without dying. Is that Malon singing it? And there's the Deku Tree Sprout, which I, I swear that is the Deku Tree, but in a smaller form. It knows too much! It knows too much! <laughs> no baby could possibly know as much as it does. Ah, everything is peaceful once again. A no pay roams the lands of Hyrule free! Yeah, there's no one on the <laughs> back of her. 
So that's what I always seen it as. Even though it's probably not true, because you know a no pay call or comes to you when you call her with uh, the Epona song. A no pay song, dang it! <laughs> oh yeah, it's that music. Oh yeah, go around dance. Yeah. Shake it, baby. <laughs> they look drunk there. <laughs> Is that like three duplicate sets of pe people sprites there? And look at how the kids are holding that guy upside down with the phonograph. Oh no, scientist man, the carpet guy, and bean guy all teamed up. Construction workers turned into a choir, apparently. <laughs> Wait, I thought she had an allergy to cuckoos. How? What? They must have invented Benadryl or something. And my god, that Goron is huge. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not making holes in the ground just by walking or jumping around like that. And we got Mido. Very sad. And King Zora, too. I, I don't know how the heck he even got over there. How did he get over here in time for this festival? He's so slow. And there goes the sages flying above him. Oh, there's the real name. Ah, nudity! Not kid friendly. That guy knows how to dance. That Goron. <laughs> the Runia. And thus, the Master Sword is laid to rest once again. Oh, uh, you leaving me? Yeah. You leave and never come back! Yeah! Best ending ever! I suppose it would have been a little bit better if I, you know, him and Zelda, never mind. But still, a pretty good ending. <laughs> There's a little something I don't get about this little sequence here. I'll explain why as they show them. Pay attention to their expressions. Well, namely Zelda's. She looks like she's never met Link before. Doesn't it? That's what it always seemed like to me. <laughs> Unless by recover lost time, that's what Zelda meant back when she sent us back to the past. It was even before the event that they met. Anyway, here's the, the end screen. I'm going to cut over to the songs that you can apparently hear on this screen, so you don't have to wait. Um, I've waited about 10 minutes now. Still nothing. <laughs> so this may very well be 
a hoax of sorts. I'm not sure unless there's some other way to get it to trigger. I don't know at the time, but anyway, I'm going to reset the game and show you my save file. Nintendo! And select the Master Quest. Yes, yeah. read it faster. Load, go. <laughs> and here we are. Master Quest. Save file. No deaths, baby. How do you like them apples? <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough. And I'll see you in the next one.